split is certainly different, though in some ways it reminds me of both Dubrovnik and Kotor, though not as popular. It is fast gaining a reputation as a must-see place. For history buffs like Nate and me, it's fascinating, photogenic in the extreme. Hands appearing from nowhere? Nate's theory is that they represent a deity crowning the monarch and establishing his divine right to rule. Typical old city streets. They're almost alleys. The 7th century cathedral of St. Domnius dominant. This is the peristyle, letting meaning columns all around, ancient decorative arches that form the center of the palace of Diocletian, extremely well preserved. The peristyle here is considered one of the best preserved Roman remains in the world. And believe it or not, there are still Roman soldiers here. Shooting gets hectic at times. This is a reconstruction of the palace. The peristyle is the hub of the Diocletian Palace and it's like strolling through history, though we need to get used to the crowds. I love the actors playing the Roman soldiers. I remember being in Xi'an in China, where they did the same, and actors played the part of ceremonial guards, and it certainly adds a touch of interest. There's even an Egyptian sphinx guarding the entrance. The cathedral was formerly the mausoleum of Diocletian. He was the first Roman emperor to retire from office, and he built this palace as his retirement home. Split is near the town of his birth, Salona, modern-day Solin. The opportunity to walk through these ancient streets was a great experience. Occasionally, there were clear reminders of its ancient past. It must have been a spectacular place in its heyday.
Time for a snack and a coffee. Diocletian's palace was used on season four of Game of Thrones for a filming location. Game of Thrones used a number of locations in Croatia. Reminders of it all around. Here was an exquisite place to sit and relax and enjoy a coffee, surrounded by history. Well, this was... Uh Pleasant surprise to have this beautiful sunshine after the rain this morning. We're now in the retirement palace of Diocletian, which was in the early 4th century, and just having a great time. We then decided to take a look around the cathedral. It is indeed a unique place. Consecrated at the turn of the 7th century, is said to be the oldest Catholic cathedral in the world that remains in use in its original structure. Built in AD 305 as the Mausoleum of Diocletian, it is the second oldest structure used by any Christian cathedral. The inside is spectacular, the ceiling awe-inspiring. The dome, considering its age, is a magnificent piece of architecture. 